Hey everybody, my name is Dad Radish, and I'm your vegetable father. So we got a kind of quick one today. I wanted to talk uh, really quickly about finding gateway and startup decks. Um, I think uh, deck building in Netrunner is super fun, uh, but it's also a little bit daunting. Um, you know, in other card games, you can have a shorthand for uh, for how you build a deck, like a functional magic deck has, you know, 24 lands or, or whatever, you know, whatever the ratio is. Um, but in Netrunner, the hard and fast rules are, are easily broken and broken for good reasons a lot of the time. So um, anyway, this is about if you've sort of done the starters and the boosters um, in Gateway and you want to dip your toes in, I think one of the coolest things to do is to just skip ahead, like skip ahead to what the expert deck builders have put together um play some games with those see what the card pool has to offer and then go back after that because after playing some of those games you'll have feelings about how things went um like uh when i played a gateway deck without an urtica cipher the first thing i said was how do i get urtica cipher back in here <laughs> i never want to play um a game of system gateway without at least one urtica cipher so um yeah this is going to be a, a short one it's pretty quick and straightforward um so here we are in Netrunner DB. We're logged in. Um, so just click on deck lists. Um, there are lots of different kind of fun ways to browse, but we're going to kind of shortcut things by going to search. And then the trick here is to uh, select allowed packs. So this has everything in it. We're going to go and click on none and then just click on system gateway. So this will only bring up decks uh, where that have system gateway cards in them. Um, I'm going to click on search here. All right, here we go. So these are our system gateway decks. Um, they're sorted by popularity. So if they've got some, some likes on them, some attention, then we're going to, uh, th that's what's going to come up first. And then these are really easy to bring into Genteki, right? So let's say I wanted to play Lost Geeks Project Crow deck here. Um, We'll just pull it up um, and then in Techie in the deck builder tab, we can go ahead and click on import deck um, and then you can use an ID or URL. So if we, uh, I mean, just the easiest thing to do is just to copy and paste this and then boom, the deck is imported. Um, it'll take uh, maybe a bit of uh, just a quick edit. It comes in as standard legal. This is legal for standard. You might not have a good time um, at that power level. Just uh, flip this over to system gateway, hit save. Um, and then great. Um, it tells you that where it's been imported here and I can just jump in and play this in games. So uh, yeah, so that's how you find them. Uh, I would say uh, go ahead and find decks. When you make an edit to a deck, go ahead and publish it. Um, so this roster can sort of get filled out and, and who knows, you might uh, stumble on something interesting um, and some, you know, for other folks who are learning gateway, learning the way around net runner, learning the way around deck building stuff that they can find. So yeah, let's also talk real quick about um, finding startup decks since that's just uh, one click is pretty quick. So we'll click startup here. It'll automatically fill in uh, the format for that. And then I'm also going to uh, show off this one other feature. So let's say there's a card you're really interested in. Um, like, for example, uh, I was really into uh, Neurospike, but I couldn't sort of figure out what to do with it in a deck, how to sort of um, build around that to make it work. Um, you can do that. Click search. And then it'll bring up decks that have uh, Neurospike in them. So Jiteki Startup uh, V3. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, here we go. All right. So here's something that I can just, uh, again, import into Jinteki and play in games. So that's it. This one is kind of a short one. So in summary, uh, find decks that you want to play on Netrunner DB, uh, publish your creations for other people to find, and uh, I'll see you on JNet, hopefully. Um, I'm Dad Radish. Turn off the lights before you leave the room and always be running.